new season's greetings. 11 o'clock at night in Catalonia. And two heavyweights do battle once more. Some under the misconception that this might be some kind of pre-season friendly. Abidal. Unmistakably oh. Lionel Messi given the foot skills of the brilliant Argentinian. And he's not had much of a break this summer. After the Champions League final, headed off to the Copa America in his native land. As far as I'm concerned. There is Lionel Messi into his stride. Lionel Messi, the challenge from Pepe. Cristiano Ronaldo looking for Cointrao. You don't need to be six foot three to play centre half for Barcelona, just be able to tackle. This is about five foot three. Lionel Messi, but a use of the arm from the Argentinian. Chavi's available. Little step over from Pedro. Messi's there, but a. Well, improvised piece of goalkeeping from Casillas. Had to get in there with the boots flying. Actually, Mascherano came and it took him a long time to get a game in Barcelona colours. Even he's had to revert to centre half to all the circumstances to deal with the pressure that Real Madrid are applying. Oh, it's just the second game so far this season. Messi, what a great ball. What an excellent run. Iniesta teases Casillas and gives Barcelona the lead. Back to their brilliant best. A pass of perfection and a clinical finish. It's been a, a wonderful start from Real Madrid. But every time Barcelona have gotten that attack in third, and a few occasions that they have, they look threatening, they look dangerous. And it's a wonderful, exquisite pass, wasn't it, from midfield? Once Andres Iniesta was through. I don't think the outcome was in doubt. It was just the technique he was going to apply. Messi, great understanding of Iniesta. And that's a gorgeous finish from the midfield player. See Messi there, just has a little glance. He's aware Iniesta's on the move. Perfect pass into the path. I thought he was going to go around and he fooled the, the co-commentator as well. Little dink over Casillas. Well, Messi top of the assist charts last season of course Jack Messi creator of the goal David Vin Ramos claiming offside I think he's still claiming offside from the goal but he was the man that anchored last time and kept Iniesta on to bed at home were you stay up pull up a cushion if you're in the bar have another half pint Go nowhere, this is going to be a cracker. 20 minutes gone. 1-1 on the night, 3-3 on aggregate. Iniesta. Oh. Excellent ball, excellent run. Casillas is off his line, but he scrambles back in the world in all of the divisions. Now playing a 4-3-3 formation. And in a year's time, we'll have 5 foot 7 Centre half, so we're going to have our first yellow card of the evening. Padilla is in trouble. The first challenge of the evening that's probably warranted consideration of a yellow card from the referee. Here on Messi. Pass one, pass two. Flips it through, and it was in the channel of Chavi. Real Madrid if Messi breaks free. You just never know it, do you? When he starts on one of these runs and he goes past one, he goes past the second. But we, I think we're all anticipating going all the way beaten four or five. Should be around the goalkeeper. Interesting. Di Maria. Then once more by Mascherano, who's got through a lot of good defensive work tonight. Xavi. Via. To Messi. Goals and wonderful saves, but that was somebody executing the perfect tackle. Now Lionel Messi down the turbo charge. 
Casillas knew he had some work to do. Brilliant little burst from Messi and a top save from Spain's number one. That's when they break free in that midfield area. Real Madrid defence at times is called square, very square. Navidad. Chapman. Lionel Messi. Sofia and Pedro. He really is earning a reputation, Mascarani. They moved him to centre half last year when Payol picked up the injury. Navidal was out with illness, and Mascarano's made that position his own. Barcelona. Messi chests it down for Pique. Back to Lionel Messi! Yes! 2 1. Barcelona. Messi's at it again. A delightful dink. And I've been critical of Gerald Pique's performance so far in the game tonight, but the last few minutes, on two occasions. It's been instrumental in the box for the crafty little pass that's found an attacker in space. And who better to find in a crowded penalty area than this player, Lionel Messi. Real Madrid don't clear the, the, free, the, the set piece. It's a great back heel from PK. Still plenty of work to do. It's actually Ronaldo that's tracking Messi back. Just make, trying to make that last ditch tackle. We see the back heel from PK. Messi, a couple of touches to set himself up. They must practice that finishing training at Barcelona, probably from about the age of seven or eight. Seeing yes, they just dinked one over Casillas tonight. Lionel Messi does exactly the same. OK, well, let's get back to the Camp Nou and join our commentators of Terry Gibson and Rob Palmer. Midnight in Spain, but the country is at a standstill. 2-1 on the night, 4-3 on aggregate. Valdez has been spraying passes, making tackles, intercepting, sweeping, keeping. Everything about Real Madrid at the moment worries him. And he believes that they do have the edge. And they don't when it comes to the scoreline. They do look much more of a force this season. Valdez, the style of the team tonight, just for sentiment. Lionel Messi. David Vier. This might be the better option. Messi uh, down a little winded by Marcelo. Just to reiterate what we've been telling you, of course, the way goals do count. It's extra time, the penalties will only happen if we have a 2 2. Mascarano is uh, scalded in this playground spat, and Cristiano Ronaldo as well, I think, has gone into the referee's little black box. It's a strange one for Marcelo because it's not the natural way that he leaped. He has leapt, he's mistimed the jump, Messi was going to get behind. And he has flicked his leg out to the right side to make contact with Messi. Well, it was the most powerful. You see Marcelo make the jump, that's natural. That right leg coming out, mm. striking Messi. It's not the natural way you leap for a ball, particularly when you've missed it. Ramos. Head down, caught again. And it's very rare that you see Lionel Messi lose his temper. That's a couple of times in the last ten minutes. Yep, he took the, the blow from Marcelo. It's a tiny little bit of contact there, isn't there, Ramos? Frustration. An engagement ring. I don't think there's an engagement ring in the world big enough for three months of Lionel Messi's salary. Maybe that's playing on his mind. Good pressure on Xavi and Nesta in particular. Via. Messi. Oh. An assault by Pepe. He knows the yellow card is coming. Just stood in the way and made a big barrier. And Messi getting a bit of a rough ride. It's in the second half. Oh, the elbow comes out as well from Pepe. You're not going anywhere. It's like watching WWF, wasn't it? Yep, I think the elbow's the, the, the main concern there. Look right into the chest area of Messi. 
That was a slam right to the rib cage of Lionel Messi. I just wish they wouldn't argue Real Madrid with every decision. That's a clear yellow card. The referee sees the elbow there. Barca the supporters. Oh, great ball from Lionel Messi and David Villa. He's got to get the right balance. Excellent from Iniesta. He glides to Messi. Messi leaves defenders slipping and sliding on the floor, but no way past. Mika Casillas. You don't care, Rob. You can set up a defence, get as many people back there as you want. But when you've got Iniesta running it with the ball, can beat two or three players. It's the control, it's the awareness of the player to his right, Lionel Messi. You just know ultimately it's probably going to end up in a shot or goal. for Pedro. Contran hanging on to Messi, the ball's rolling, referee can ask for that free kick to be taken again. Strangely, Lionel Messi didn't score. Lionel Messi, one of the reasons being that Messi left when he was a very young boy. Tevez, of course, came through the system over there. He's falling down quite easy at the moment. Quite happy for the game. No one has really taken, neither team has taken this game by the, the scruff of the neck in the second half. Real Madrid certainly created the better chances. Strong challenge from Pepe. Leaves Pell, the captain in the league. Bit by bit, Mourinho is building a team to rival Barcelona, maybe overtake them this season. Cavallo flies in, and uh, the assistant. It's nice to see Adriano ahead of Alexis Sanchez, the new signing. Fabregas, Messi. Adriano. Oh, there's the winner. And guess who? Lionel Messi. Two well matched teams, but maybe one little genius is the difference. It's been a frustrating second half for Lionel Messi. He feels he's been knocked about on too many occasions by the defensive players of Real Madrid. He certainly knows how to get his back on back on them. It's his second goal of the evening. His third goal after the two games. And it appears it's going to be the winning goal. First time in the half or for a long time, Barcelona were able to get players into the box. And from Barcelona's perspective, it couldn't have fell to a better player. A great little one, so Messi involved. Adriano picks him out as Messi's on the move. Fabregas, Messi to Adriano. Messi makes his run, continues his run after the pass. Oh, it's a great technique as well. It's not an easy skill. He's on the stretch, gets his laces, keeps his head over the ball. Casillas, before he sees it, it's in the back of the net. And is that the winning goal for Barcelona? Well, a leap of joy for Pep Guardiola. It's not been a great performance from Barcelona tonight. We, we talked about the weekend that Real Madrid were probably in a, a better place in terms of organisation and fitness at this stage of the season. And I think you can take it that tonight in particular, the fitness has been at a higher level than Barcelona. Of course, Barcelona do have Lionel Messi. There is Messi, he's chasing a hat trick. He's not going to be outshone. 5-4 on aggregate at the moment to Barcelona. Messi wants his hat-trick. Messi may get his hat-trick. Messi stopped by Ike Casillas. Four additional minutes. He's the, he's involved in the build-up for the third goal. Messi's second, involved again there. Even Jose Mourinho is feeling the heat. Adriano. Fabregas. With a fine exhibition of passing. Ronaldo comes back chasing the ball. These sides have met uh, in four Super Cup finals. I don't think that was the worst offence amongst. They've won it ugly, but they've won the Spanish Super Cup Barcelona. To add to the Champions League.
the Spanish league. Revenge for not winning the Copa del Rey. They've won the first Spanish major of the season. The difference between the sides, Lionel Messi with two brilliant goals. Once more, Real Madrid Marit with a sending off Marcelo for a straight red after almost chopping Cesc Fabregas in half. Pieces broken out down there on the field now, but it was rather unpleasant for a few minutes. Passion always high when these sides meet. It's going to be a cracking season in La Liga. Barcelona are the champions of the Super Cup. Yeah, what a shame that to end like that after 180 minutes of wonderful football. 3-2 on the night, 5-4 on aggregate. And that little man Lionel Messi, what's the difference? Do they deserve it, Jerry? I think they did just about. Um, sensational game of football, absolutely unbelievable. I think two of the best teams in the world, if not the two best teams in the world. And uh, if it continues like that for the rest of the season, we're in for a real treat.